Welcome along to another on-road podcast video and today I'm going to be talking about roll moment and this is on the back of the last video I did discussing roll center. Uh, roll moment and roll center uh, work together to dictate how the car effectively rolls uh, during movement. Now it's important to understand that in the last video we found where the uh, roll center is. Remember, this this is not a. Uh, I've used the word standard. I've used that as a uh, as a base point of where the, the the roll center would be to start with on your car. And the roll center is is the center of the roll roll moment, if you like, uh, relative to the the center of gravity of the car, which is uh, seen in the on the top there again. All cars have different centre of gravities. You can actually change the centre of gravity as well with certain things. Um, placement of things in the car and, and, and other ingredients. But uh, And there's actually a way of, of finding out what the centre of gravity of your car is. Um, and, and maybe I'll, I'll do a video on that as well. But uh, the, the roll centre is acting uh, upon the, the centre of gravity. So... Uh, the distance between the standard roll centre and the centre of gravity is uh, indicated by this red line here, and this this creates an arc of which the car is rolling through on, um, and the difference in roll centre height to the centre of gravity will dictate the size of arc which will there in turn dictate how much roll your car has. And again, it's it's all making use of the contact patch, which is indicated by the white arrows underneath the tires. So the car is moving from left to right through this arc. And as I say, this arc either becomes greater or becomes smaller. Um, and that will make the car react differently. So at the moment, let's uh, suggest that this is how the car will move um, from that roll center, uh, acting upon the, the center of gravity. And it's important to understand why you might change your roll center. Uh, one of the reasons is the levels of the grip. Another, uh, reason for changing your roll center would be the surface how bumpy how bumpy it is um, thirdly the jumps obviously if you're running 12 scale that doesn't necessarily have an impact and the layout whether it's a tight and twisty track if it's tight and twisty and you want the car to react quicker uh, you'll see in a minute um, how a high roll center will help you achieve that uh, agility in the car. Now within this, once you've got your roll center behaving the way you want it to uh, in relation to your center of gravity, there's ways of uh, tuning the roll center and how the car rolls. And that might be a roll bar, that might be your springs, oils in your dampers, and the shock angles. There, there are a few uh, ingredients that will change the behaviour of the car once you've set the roll centre. So let's look at the behaviour of the car and the changing arc when we create a higher roll centre. So the roll centre's moved higher on the car. And again, there's this uh, relationship or this roll moment there is at the front of the car and at the rear of the car as well. Um, so because the gap between the high roll center and the center of gravity has now become smaller, the arc therefore becomes a lot more acute, the circle becomes much smaller. Um, and so the angle um, from the standard roll center to the end of the red arc, the angle of that red line is the same as the angle of the line from the high roll center to the end of the arc. Um, and so therefore the, the car's uh, roll will be less and much sharper. 
<clears throat> and you can now see in the image the car is now going to respond much much quicker um, which again if you if you're working on a on a track that has uh, a really bumpy surface that's certainly not something that you would want to uh, create so you you might move towards your standard or your lower roll center to make the car feel less uh, twitchy or agile because the surface of the track is quite bumpy uh, if the grip level is is really high uh, or should I say really low you might want to raise up your roll center to in, encourage a little bit more grip equally that could be also you might want to go lower roll center to not put so much pressure into the into the tires so again understanding uh, how much friction and uh, there is on the surface to allow you to run these different roll centers is, is quite important to understand as well which again that's another conversation but uh, these roll centers are changing um, because of the four fundamentals on the left hand side that that I would tend to apply. So then we move down uh, and lower the roll center uh, and now you can see that the lever arm between the roll center and the center of gravity has become greater which is now going to make the arc of the roll greater um, so the car is going to pass through a, a greater roll moment and because of that now the car is going to respond much slower and move through that that range uh, which again take down the agility of the car make it feel a little bit more numb um, and again you you might want to run um, a low roll center on the rear of your car and a high roll center on the front of your car you might want to run standard roll center on the front of the car and standard roll center on the rear of your car just depends um, how you want the car to perform but I think fundamentally if you can understand how these roll centers are uh, acting on the car uh, with the, the center of gravity creating that roll moment you start to appreciate what uh, roll center and roll moment do to make your car perform in the way you want it to again going back to those four fundamentals on the left hand side to set the, the roll center and then you can then move through your adjustments on the right hand side springs bars oils shock angles wheel bases track width all that kind of stuff to make the car behave uh, around your roll center so in summary you can see that these three roll centers are changing the three different arcs or roll moments that the car is going to make I think roll moment isn't really giving you uh, a good um, picture of what roll moment is creating it's almost roll arc would be a would be a nice uh, way of describing what uh, roll center and center of gravity are doing to your car hopefully that made sense if you like the video click like share and subscribe to the channel um, that'd be much appreciated and hopefully we can uh, all go a little bit faster in the new year and uh, wishing you all a good Christmas and see you again trackside soon